Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is our reaction and ranking Naruto openings 1 to 9. Now we've seen 1 to 6, but Lindsay, I've seen all of them. Lindsay, who has just finished Naruto, has not seen uh, the final three openings. You've heard one of the songs because I listen to it <laughs> from time to time, but you don't know what's going to happen, correct? Or as far as like the no. ones you haven't seen. And yeah, we're going to be ranking these just bit. J this one's going to be a lot simpler because then like the Full Metal Alchemist video, which you can watch on our channel. It's our first video ever uh, where we ranked all the Full Metal Alchemist 2003 versus Brotherhood uh, openings. It's going to be easier than that because we just have Naruto and there's yeah. nine of them. And yeah, it's just going to be chill, but we're going to give our personal rankings on the like our our sort of rankings on what we what we think the best openings are and the worst yeah. opening is so it's gonna be a lot of fun um we're also going to be doing the endings which is going to be coming out tomorrow which you can check out and uh, for all those who are coming here like where are the ship it in reactions those are coming soon don't you can check our schedule on our community tab to get more information on how that's going to work should be just next week go check that for for further details we have we post our schedule every week on our community tab on our channel if you want to uh, stay updated with like what we're going to be reacting every week uh it's always up there for what we're what's going on youtube what's going on patreon what movie react what movie or ova we're reacting to for our uh, ten dollar tier on patreon so yeah check that out but we're just gonna get right into it but we are watching ship it in don't worry we're not uh dropping and in. actually if you want to watch our reactions to ship it in right now if you just can't wait they're on our patreon right now we're a week ahead on patreon check that out if you're interested but we're getting right into this and uh, endings are coming tomorrow hope you guys enjoy this reaction and ranking of all the openings of naruto let's go opening one rocks I fucking love this so much. Simpler what times. What is she doing? Hiding. <laughs> waiting. Ambushing. Oh wait, no, she's a girl. She's probably taking a piss behind the rock. <laughs> I mean, this is Naruto after all. I get bet they're gonna be best friends forever. <laughs> Yeah, great opening. I remember when we first watched it, you were like, yeah, the opening was all right. You know, I imagine if after you've watched the show, it'll probably, it's this is probably like, wow, this is such a great opening and everything. What do you I think, think I would have felt more nostalgic about it, but we just watched it like not a couple weeks ago or something. Did random. we watch it? I think we listened. Oh, we listened We've to listened it. to the song since then. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't get a, a huge nostalgia fact, maybe because we haven't finished Ship It In yet. Mm. Um, I, do, I still like it, um, but I, and I'm, it might be near the top of my list, but I'm not sure because some, I did like some of the other ones. That one's definitely near the top of my list personally. I love that. I think opening. it might be, but I, I can't tell. It's it's I, I guess it's hard to say. It's the first time we're watching. There's some I haven't seen. There's some that I forget. I also wanted to say I love how even in the the first opening when like shit's going down, Kakashi grabs Sakura and, and jumps takes away. Her yeah. the way. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Foreshadowing. God, Naruto and their foreshadowing <laughs> is out of control. Yeah, but that that one is just a, it's simpler times. They're fighting some random bandits like guys, highwaymen eating the shit out of them. Them, yeah having having a fight and uh it's unrealistic just... there that sakura is like putting one in an arm bar <laughs> she'd she's never not, know how to do that she's not she's not that useless she's not that useless. she could deal with some random dudes but yeah that, that one was good but i'm excited to see some more opening two oh shit what? we gotta watch the english openings as well oh. I 
I really like this opening. I feel like this is when the show was starting to get really, really good. Yeah. Tuning exams. Yeah. And then this opening is just super hype. Foreshadowing. I really like that one. That's, like, one of the best openings in the, like, better than m many of the Shippuden openings, even. That's, like, one of the best ones ever. And I don't, I couldn't tell if they showed the upgraded version, but there's, like, some shots in that opening and the first one. I think the first one they showed, like, the very first version of the first one, and in this one I think they might have showed the second one. I can't tell. <laughs> Uh, cause there's like updated animation. Yeah, I like that one. That one's really good. Right. That one- Asian Kung Fu Generation. The f the first one I think is good and maybe after I'm done like the entire thing that one will be a little bit more nostalgic. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But this one is actually just good. It has nothing to do with the nostalgia factor, it's just good. Yeah. Dope song, high energy, all yeah, the characters it's, fighting. It's It really gets you hyped up and I feel like at that point of the show is the perfect time to have an opening that really hypes you up. Because you're getting into, like, um, almost a lot, pretty much every episode during that arc was, like, some kind of fight, usually. Or, well, I guess not all the time, but there was a lot of fights, a lot a of lot tension, of a lot of, uh... High stakes, a lot of death. Villains, a lot of... A lot of personal stakes as mm -hmm. well, like the Sokka versus Eno and the Hinata versus Neji. Yeah. Gara versus Rock Lee. All the fights are, like, super high, high personal stakes. Naruto versus Kiba, if it were animated well, would, would have actually been a dope fight because... Kiba was just a piece of shit to Naruto growing up. Yeah, um, so so there is a lot of stuff going on, and that's why I think it really suits. I feel like that opening really suits that part of the story for, for sure. being really high energy, but it's not, like, over the top. It's not just... Cr it's not crazy for no reason and just, like, a million colors everywhere and a million mm -hmm. things flying it does across do that. the screen. But it's it's... It's not out of control, I don't think. What you remarked on while we were watching, like, the first time when you first saw this, or, like, during the first run where we saw this opening, you were remarking that um, it was a really good opening for showing you the new teams and all yeah. the different characters and everything. Mm -hmm. And the next one as well. I think you said the same thing, where there's parts in this one and the next one is dedicated to the teams and to the teachers. Yeah, uh, Next yeah, one, yeah, yeah, they yeah. show you the teachers. This one, they just show you the students because the teachers obviously aren't really fighting that much. Yeah, yeah, I do like that because it kind of reminds you every time of like who's in what squad yeah. and then you don't have to be like, oh yeah, that's Rock Lee and who, oh, who's on his team yeah. again? You or... know because you see it in the intro and... Yeah. Because obviously you see it during the show, but just seeing it every time before you watch the show, yeah, you know. And it shows you a lot of the abilities without like outright telling you what they do. Yeah, they're like... Rock Lee, you see he's doing the Bruce Lee stance, which is, like, really recognizable as, like, martial artist. Like, you can tell he's a martial artist based on his stance. And then Shino, you see he has... Uh, the bugs. The bugs, but you don't know what the... Like, it's, like, a really yeah, striking, because you're like, what weird. the fuck? This guy fights with bugs? Obviously, like, a lot of teasing moments, like Sasuke with the curse mark coming up the side of his mm -hmm. neck with Orochimaru's face. Like, you don't know... Like, it, it teases you enough that, like, some crazy shit is going on and, like, gives you enough to, like, expect something. Without it yeah. being like, whoa, I wonder what that means. But you're like, oh, I know what that means. I want to find out more. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's actually teasing you. It's really, it's, that opening, like, seriously, especially the upgraded version is, like, one of the best fucking openings in the whole show. And it's the second one. It's, it's incredible. It's so good. Yeah, I really like that one. Okay, next one. I love this one. This is really divisive. The normies didn't like this one. I remember I didn't like this when I first watched it. I didn't either. When I first watched it, originally. This is also, I think...
and then the adventure, like the. That's, that's a fucking incredible opening. It doesn't get enough respect. That just I like really the like end, especially one. with all three of them appearing next to Naruto as he's running, going on an adventure, like showing that he's acquiring friends, like just to end it off. And this giant castle and city in the background, and they're like running to do like it. It never lets up on the fucking intensity. Even when it's just like very limited animation, there are times where like when it first kicks into the beat, it's really good. Like the there's the ninja like flashing in the trees and shit, and then it goes mm -hmm. to Sakura running and Naruto's clones falling. This this opening doesn't get enough credit in my opinion because a lot of people are turned off by the song, which although understandable, I think it fits perfectly. Yeah, when I first saw this, I remember I I specifically remember not liking it and I was like, oh, what is this? But now Carson can attest to this all the time. I just like sort of <laughs> before we start watching every time she just like do it. <laughs> No, do, it, do it, do I'm it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, I'll do it. This is what she does whenever we sit down or whenever we th are thinking about Naruto or, or talking about it. Or when we're just not. Or when just we're sitting there, just doing nothing. She'll be like... <laughs> not even joking. She does that fucking all... She did it before we started watching this, today. And most times when we watch Naruto, she does it. It just is so... And that's a testament to how recognizable it is. And also, I want to talk about this. I never really saw this earlier but like okay so parallels between the sanin and like the team seven are like really clear at, at the end of part one because once uh, sakura says she's gonna go be a, when she, she becomes a student of tsunade mm -hmm. naruto teams up, goes up with jiraiya sasuke leaves to go with the maru they're all and so you see them you see the sanin as kids first of all it's a great teaser because they're looking up at the hokage faces and uh yeah which is which is two things one it's like they are obviously students of the hokage and it's also teasing the specific moment like during the speech where the third hokage is talking about how he saw the anger brewing in orochimaru but didn't act on it because mm -hmm. he, he like shows that shot of them like looking up the hokage faces but after that we go so there is them as kids and then you see jiraiya like from a low angle up and he like looks up all proud because he's like sort of like a, a big father figure for naruto obviously and then it goes to naruto coming out of the water but and like looking up similar to how jiraiya does and then shaking off the water I, and as it's it makes it's a big piece it's actually a big but yet really subtle piece of foreshadowing that he's getting out of the water first of all it's really symbolic just generally outside of naruto because you're like getting out of the depths but that metaphor is used in the naruto and sasuke fight when he's like falling under the water yeah and like sasuke's in the darkness you need you're the only one who can find him naruto and he's he has he goes into the darkness to try and get sasuke he that's that's a metaphor of him using the fox power giving into the darkness the the evil of the of the nine-tailed fox in order to have the strength to bring sasuke back to the village he ends up failing obviously using the water as like a metaphor for the abyss the darkness that you need to sort of wade in in order to achieve what you want it's a big theme in naruto in general and in shonen in general but then he like shakes off the darkness and then he goes on it on his adventure symbolic of him sort of emerging out of the loneliness and the shittiness that he felt growing up and uh and then as he's running on this adventure in a new land off to bigger things the his friends appear around him at the very end and then the, and then it continues on and that's where our, that's basically where we are in the story is like that that you know that whole thing so it's and that's just scratching the surface of what this opening does that's like one that's like three fucking shots at the end of the opening but there's so much more to say like all the stuff at the beginning with gara it's so good anyway that's my thoughts i love yeah. this fucking opening so much and i, I don't I, it does not get enough credit yeah i like the stuff at the beginning and then i, I also like you reminded me i like the way that it shows the na like they already introduced us to the teams and now it shows us what like teacher is responsible for them because now they are becoming more c of characters in the story and like mm -hmm. I guess we don't see too much of them all Kurnai the time. and Asuma, not really. We, but we see them enough, but it's so, like, infrequently that it's, like, good that we can relate them mm -hmm. to their students to be like, oh, yeah. Oh, That's their Kakashi. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, it's not like, you That's know. what, like, when, when Asuma comes in and saves Shikamaru, you might have forgotten who he was yeah. if it wasn't, like, very strongly associated, almost, like, uh, subconsciously, that, like this is uh who's sort of responsible for them yeah yeah because you yeah you you might forget after i mean what episodes were these these were like so this this would be like in the 70s something like that maybe 70s 80s something like that maybe a little bit earlier no about that yeah because the rockley rockley garify was episode like 50 or 48 to 50 so all of that time that that many weeks of watching the show with breaks i think in between at least like a season break in between or something i think i'm not don't quote me on that but yeah I don't you know, know. It, cause, because it's obviously important. it's so easy to know 
who fucking guy sensei who's whose team that is yeah uh, because they're wearing literally the exact same outfit uh him and rock lee yeah i don't know i i just i i do really like it when a show can use an opening to to like reinforce sort of like some of what you already know or mm-hmm. like what you're going to get to know i really i really appreciate that it's really important especially obviously for a kid's show and obviously for a sh- for a show that's so long running like naruto also just at the beginning he wakes up alone in the desert amidst knives like a ba- basically a battlefield he's like was dreaming i guess of something and then all the trees are like all dead. everything's dead and then at the end everything is like full of life and like lush green like it, you know and the the name of the song is turning sadness into kindness so it make it makes sense. Even the song makes sense thematically. Like this is I I really this is why I really appreciate. I wish we openings. could watch them. We should be watching them with the lyrics. We should be watching them with the lyrics. We'll do that from now on. Yeah, like I, I I'm not even gonna talk about all like the Gara and Naruto stuff that would take like so long, and that's more of like stuff with the show. But it's the fact that the like just how they how they transition between everything. First of all, Naruto alienated by all the people in the village. Then Gara alienated by those shithead kids in the sand. But well, they're not really shitheads. They're afraid of him for good reason because he's killed people at this point and he's just alone. But he looks so sad and cute. Like that that shot of Gara in the moonlight will be burned into my brain forever because because of how I fucking f- tragic his backstory. Yeah, you know, is. I feel like at this point we don't know when we first see this. We don't know his full backstory do no we? we just see no. these two shots yeah and but it automatically kind of makes you a little bit more sympathetic to his character yeah and realize that there's probably something deeper going on there which is good because although we do find out his backstory later the whole time you're kind of wondering oh what the what, fuck is, the deal what with is up guy? with him being all sad and lonely and i think some people might be like i think it, some people might argue that they, that, that this gives away spoils. a little bit too much. I don't think so because Gara is so shitty and bad and is so like he acts so irredeemably that like if you if you were just to get sprung on his backstory without Especially any knowledge, since they bring him like they bringing him back like at the very end of what we saw. But I know he's like heavily in the filler stuff that we skipped. Oh yeah, yeah and yeah. Uh, like he's like one of the main guys in that. And I'm assuming yeah. he's gonna be one of the main guys uh, in shipping and at least at the beginning, mm-hmm. based on like that they filled up the filler with him so much. Much. So it's like if you had just hated him completely the entire time, and when you get his then when you get his backstory, it might have been too little, too late. Of like you've been hating someone for so long. I think that's possible. Um, it might. It, I mean, depending on the person. But depending I, on the person. But um, I feel like you would have because you're you're really hesitant to like forgive characters. But this is a good example of the kind of thing that you can do in an opening that can you know help smooth those edges and prepare people without spoiling anything. Because like I think the impact is just just as strong emotionally whether you see this in the opening or not but having this in the opening first of all is just really it really gets me emotionally even when i saw it for the first time way back when it strikes the song me, really works with the it. song really works with it because the, it's so it's such a childish voice and it's like such a calming yet depressing like everything's so dark and it's the moonlight and he's alone in the fucking night with this like dressed in a burlap sack it looks like he looks like he's from a th- fucking third world country or something like he, it, it sort of creates that association in your brain and then hinata that whole thing she, like she's watching this thing with neji not understanding and then neji looking sad not understanding what's going on having just got his curse mark on his head like all it's just enough tea and you know and sakura all of this and you know that they hate each other so the fact that sakura is acting this way with you know again just plants a seed doesn't say anything just gives you the image that you and then when it comes up later it's like foreshadowed without i forget what opening we're talking about in full metal alchemist where i talked about this but like oh it was the it would no it was the uh winery ending in full metal alchemist yeah. brotherhood using an opening or an ending this is a really smart thing that some shows do and the one one thing that this did well is using the opening and ending as like part of the to inform things in the narrative that aren't explicitly shown Mm -hmm. or to give like more depth without taking time out of the show in order to give that depth that's uh, that's that's something that just those small things like there's it seems dumb to talk about it this much but it's it's important because all these are decisions that people made and and the shit with sasuke running and then you see the lightning so sakura and then because he's using the fucking chidori like Mm -hmm. that's smart too there's so much going on here it's awesome love this opening yeah okay Opening four, let's go. <laughs> Reacting to not all Naruto openings in 0.25 speed.
I really like the song for this one, but I'm not a huge, huge fan of the like watercolor mm. uh, effect. Yeah, that one I really like the second half uh, more more than the first half personally. Hmm. Everyone has here's the thing. Everyone's always been crazy about it, and it's good, but I feel like it gets way more credit than it kind of deserves personally. I think it just comes at a really good part in the story where people are really invested in what's going on. But I, I genuinely don't think it deserves as much hype as it gets. I like the song, and I get I get why the song. But I when I I remember I first saw this and I liked it, but I was kind of underwhelmed. Because I'd, I'd heard this song previously, mm -hmm. and I think you had told me that, like, this was, a like, a popular opening, mm -hmm. and I was just kind of, like, it's good, but t for me, I don't think it's better than the previous two. Yeah, me either. I, I think, it, it, for me, it might be better than the first one, or, like, on par with the first, m maybe even not as good as the first one. I, ca I can't tell. I, to it, me, it's definitely not as good as the first one. For me, it's, like, maybe around, but for a different reason, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. If if the whole thing had had slightly different visuals, I might have liked it a little bit more because I do like the song. Mm -hmm. I like some of it. I, I like that silhouette part where they have like the silhouette, the, the some of the characters and then silhouettes of like Kabuto and I think Neji running. Yeah. And th that's pretty cool. I like that. But um, it, 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 it wasn't uh, super crazy or super special for me. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, it's 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 good and it's really high energy and it's really happy and go lucky and everything but unlike the last three it doesn't really say much about like the s emotional struggles that are mm -hmm. that the characters are going through it's like some teasers but it's mostly just showing the characters being themselves and doing and just doing like striking poses basically and there's some really cool shots some really cool pictures some really good like teasing for future stuff but it it, it pr is probably in my number four spot beneath the first three uh, it's definitely my of the ones we've watched so far. It's definitely my least favorite, but that's not to say it's my least favorite in the in the whole as a whole of the openings. Oh no, it might be my number five spot because the next one is one of my favorites. Yeah. So I I, I like it, and I, I don't like think it. I don't think it's bad, yeah. but it, it's it's not super special to me. I don't think. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, next one. got the subtitles for this one as well. I love that shot of them running. Yeah, that's like one of my favorite openings for sure. I'm pretty sure you cried in that when we I watched it. I did. We it. watched it for the first time. I still need to upload that reaction first time we watched it. Like, well, first time I watched it with you. I literally did cry first time we saw this. This, I think this is my favorite one. And although it might have been just because we were getting to that, this point in the story, like the whole Naruto mm -hmm. Sasuke stuff. But it's like, just seeing the lyrics, it like reflects it perfectly. Yeah, the lyrics are really good. Yeah. There's a lot of like metaphors of like wind howling through castle ruins. 
Meaning like, and then they'll like laugh it all off or something. If I can get the actual lyrics. A day's faint wind blows away the castle ruins of yesterday. And then I'll laugh with you and live for the moment. That's like kind of what Naruto wants, I guess, to mm -hmm. do with Sasuke. It's kind of like the whole uh, opening is like from the perspective of Naruto, it seems like. Like talking to Sasuke, it's like how Sasuke won't forget the, won't forget that moment. Uh, that incident will continue to trouble you, right? Uh, that's why it must be goodbye. Um, yeah. It's it's the the lyrics really work really well, and just I talked about it when we first I think when we first watched it. First of all, what did you think? What did you think of that? Oh, I like it. I like that it was sort of a actually the the opening it itself kind of reflected the entire arc. Yeah. And, like, how it was for me. Like, at the beginning, it's like, oh, my God, this is such a fun adventure. And then it's, like, a little bit this part where we, like, see All some the of the, the, the villains and stuff. Yeah. And that part's just kind of okay. We have an epic shot of Guy and Lee, which <laughs> in the second the version of this, when they're, like, fighting, is they're, so awesome. Yeah. And then then at the end, then is the stuff with Naruto and Sasuke. So that that's kind of... I and feel I like love how, how it, the, like, the lighting is so good in this mm -hmm. and how it's like subtly split down the middle i i feel like this is quite sort of accurate to the thing as a whole like it starts off really like ooh, fun exciting and then in the middle it's like okay kind of normal and then at the end it's like oh it's like this emotional thing between two friends rivals and i never got like the fun part of this at all it's all it's 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 like steeped like it starts out okay, like super that part, grungy that part is like of them on the roof but then even after that it's like them looking guess... super serious like I don't, I don't see the fun part of this at all and then it's them like with haste sprinting into the into, into the unknown and like they're they're clearly super intense and, and i guess hurried. it's intense but it's um i don't know I never got the fun part of this at all. And that's not just because I, I saw, obviously, because I saw it and I knew that these fights were, like, crazy. But, like, they're super intense. I, like, they're none of, they don't, never look they... like they're having fun at any point in this at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, no, but, like... It's, Rock, Rock Lee's literally crying. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean the Rock Lee part was fun, but I meant just, like, sort of them just, like, jumping around in the trees mm. is, is, like, just really, like, action-y. And if you haven't seen the fights, you don't know that it's uh, gonna be like sad and emotional. But starts off with Naruto and Sasuke, the scene of them on the roof and that's super intense. It's all overly saturated and kind of weird looking. And then it's them like running through the forest and jumping around and uh, flipping all over the place. And then, uh, then, it, and then it just like transitions. I don't know, I was just saying. You're just describing what happened? I was just what saying how it, it? kind of, how it's interesting how it sort of shows the entire arc of the oh, show yeah, 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 is, yeah. What I, is what I was going for. I was okay. like, each part of the opening sort of shows a part of the arc. Mm -hmm. It's almost in, like, in almost perfect order of how it actually goes in the story is what I was trying to get across. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, but, th but that, 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 that's actually cool. I never realized that shot with uh, Shikamaru throwing the knife which is really cool, is followed by Kiba doing fang over fang. That's when they, like, steal the coffin for a second. Mm -hmm. So that's foreshadowing to that, like, really triumphant moment. But yeah. And then, like, th just the end part where it's showing all the flashbacks gets me fucking every time. And the way it's, like, the angle is different between Sasuke and Naruto. And when you see the shark, he looks, looks super menacing and he's looking down. And then Naruto is, like, like literally fucking all the rage is like yeah. being pent up in him and then he like explodes out in the same direction that sasuke is but sasuke's gone now and uh and the sun is going down mm -hmm. like to symbolize the end of like everything sasuke's gone the sun's going down naruto's screaming in fucking anger and also like there's two meanings to him like facing this direction where he's not only facing towards where sasuke was but he's also um like symbolizing because he, like, opens his eyes and now he's in, like, fox mode. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, like, looking towards the darkness in a way. He's, like, facing it. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that's that that might... I'm not calling it right now, but that might be my favorite opening. But we'll see. Okay, next one. Is this next one I saw it, like, once or twice or something? Yes, yeah. We ended up skipping it a lot because it, it wasn't that great.
I also love in this opening that they don't show you the people that were, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that, that it doesn't show you Neji and Choji in the opening. Yeah. I was thinking that as well. Yeah. That was just okay. That the was only, just okay. The only part where it feels really significant is when it's like, it's like Sasuke, it, it, it lingers on Sasuke because it just shows like each group, like the Akatsuki in one sweeping shot, then Orochimaru's group in one sweeping shot, and then it shows Sasuke in one sweeping shot, and then it comes back to him after like it just zooms in more and shows the back of his head, obviously mm -hmm. because he's gone. He's It says something about like the town, like we got the lyrics up, so it says something about like the town of empty faces or something like that. Interesting because that's what he thinks of the fucking In this empty village. town lined with empty faces. Yeah. That's kind of what he feels like feels about the Leaf Village a little bit. That's the only like really significant other other than that. It's sort of turning over a new leaf in a way of the series where it's going into the fillers. So it's all about these crazy adventures and doing all this crazy stuff. But yeah. it's not wrapped up in like the emotional arc because obviously that's over. Yeah, but then they still have at the shots at the beginning of like Naruto laying on the ground with the headband and yeah, it's all raining and which is all right. But it, it's definitely not as good as I think any of the previous ones. For sure, for sure, and it's a filler one, so that's kind of to be expected. But it's but still... they did do a good job of not adding in the characters that are supposed to be dead. That's really a good because I think they switched to this on the episode that you find out that they aren't dead. But could you imagine slightly before during the like the last couple episodes of the Naruto Sasuke fight? They really? To this. Yeah. Oh, stupid. Again, Again, they're they Once they are again. always they are always like a couple episodes off on their switching between the openings and endings for some reason. I think it has something to do with the timing of the production, but also they want to sort of leave off on a big moment or a cliffhanger, and that sometimes mm. means means not leaving off on a conclusion. So to get people like hyped up for when it comes back or the next little bit. But yeah, so that one's decent. Not much to say about that one. It's lower on my list for sure. Okay, so now we're getting into ones that Lindsay hasn't seen ever. So it'll be interesting. Let's go. I really like this song. Step song. Shino. Yeah, once again, we're in the filler, so it's going to be a very fillery OP, yeah, but there's just... some really cool stuff. Half, More than half of it was just the... It was just, like, Naruto running over top of some flashbacks. Yeah, so stuff. in a way, it's it's perfect advertising for what you're going to get from the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Naruto <laughs> running and some flashbacks, <laughs> and then other characters doing basically nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... I feel like that makes... Well, I, I don't know what happens during the fillers, but I feel like the whole time they're just, like, doing random shit. But there's this undertone of, like, yeah, guys, we've still got to save Sasuke. Yeah, pretty much. In, like, a hundred episodes or something. It's, every couple arcs is, like... Sometimes it's just one episode, sometimes it's a couple episodes, but, like... I've, and I've seen some something. of the fillers... 
but not many. I watched, like, a few of them here and there. Because I feel like it would really make sense to put something like that in the opening for people who maybe just just started or, like, I don't know if you're a kid watching on TV or... Well, they were never making this with the thing of, like, oh, you're supposed to skip these or these are just extra. Well, no, that's this what I, that's what I mean, show. like, to, like, remind you of all that stuff mm. that, like, they're, they're not maybe focusing on as much anymore. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But it, that one was kind of nice. The, it, the beginning, I I love the beginning when everyone's, like, getting ready and then running out. I mm-hmm. love when Lee, like, yeah. runs and shuts the door. That's such a fucking cool. First of all, that's the fir- That's the only time I think we ever see Lee's house. It looks really nice. I, that's the only part we see of it is in this opening. I, know, I don't think just, we ever see it in the show. It looks really, like, simple and clean. This kind of looks, like, I always thought this kind of looks like a shrine, like, yeah. to, to, a, to a dead person or something, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Cool shit, though. Ready to move on to the next one? Mm-hmm. I think this might be my least favorite. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil you. I like the song. Ooh, that was cool. I really like that one. I don't know why you didn't. Yeah, I don't know. I like it now that I watched it again, but uh, I, I still think I don't like it as much as some of the like. I, I, I don't know. Other, but... I haven't. I haven't seen the story at this part, but I really, really like this one. The song's good. I, I listen to all the songs a lot when I work out. Like, I just put on the playlist for all the Naruto openings. Because it's, like, a good size for, like, a workout sesh. So, I hear the song a lot and I like the song. It's just the visuals never really stuck out to me. But it's, I think it's, visually, it's probably overall better than the last one for sure. Yeah, I, I actually like the, I, like, I considering that it's for a filler arc or whatever. Uh, I really like it because you, it, 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 it the side characters actually look kind of cool for for mm-hmm. for once. Like they all they all actually look pretty cool, and look like they're doing something. And yeah, well, that's a, a defense a lot of people give for the filler arcs is that because it's not wrapped up in the main story, they spend a lot of time with the side characters. That's why a lot of people see them as the people who do see them as necessary viewing for the sh- for the series because some people do they say like you should watch the fillers because although it's not like written by the author and it's not included in the manga it gives opportunities to for you to get used to other characters mm-hmm. that the show just forgets as, as it goes along yeah i like it and i i thought the lyrics were like good with it as well and they yeah. have like i don't know i really i personally really like that one well, there you go Alrighty, next one last one Holding the title card a little too long, but that's okay. (laughs) 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 Like Gara? What? (laughs) I love shit like that when they show them in different outfits. I love it. Lee and Naruto. <laughs> so awesome. And Neji, it looks like. I love that fucking opening. That one's really good. That's that of the filler ones. That's like my favorite one. 
for sure. It's so good. I really like the song for that, but I might be biased towards it because you play it all the time. I don't, I haven't played it in like, since we started watching Naruto, I haven't played it because I didn't want to refresh your memory of it. Yeah, but, but I, I remember it. Yeah. Because you do play it. I like that song. I, I like, it It feels like you go first. Oh. Since uh, you're seeing it for the first time. <laughs> Although the, the like, normal clothes on anime characters thing <laughs> is kind of cool and kind of funny to see, personally, I prefer something like that in the ending rather than the opening, just sometimes. It is all right. You like Kiba? Yeah, he looks so... I never even realized who that was because the collar's, like, covering his face thing. Choji looks like a fucking cool kid right there. And Gara, does he have a shirt? Is like, I... It's so weird. He has, like, he grew out his hair and, like, slicked it back a little bit. <laughs> Conqueror looks as expected. He doesn't look too crazy. No. But, like, what's up with this group? Choji looks really cool. It's so funny, because, like, Choji looks like... I feel like it goes from, like, most badass to least badass. Like, Choji <laughs> looks so cool. And then Kiba also looks pretty cool. Uh, and then Conqueror is, like, semi-cool. He looks and then, weird. And then, and, and Gaara, then Gaara just looks sad. What are you wearing, dude? He's we First of all, he's wearing a fire shirt. He's wearing fucking Land of Fire merch, it looks like. <laughs> Absolute Or it traitor. just has rips in it. And I like the silhouette. It feel This feels like... Also, I think this is supposed to be, like, a recreation of a place in Kyoto with all the gates and everything. But it. this looks like they were on, like, a school trip or something. Yeah. And somebody has a camera. Just, like, the way they're acting and everything. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny. I like yeah, this opening. that was cute. That was nice for, like, a final one. Yeah. I like it. I like this opening. Uh, I like the song. I like the visuals. Like I said, it does kind of hang on the title card, but it's all right. I don't care. Yeah, the title card went on just slightly too long, but mm -hmm. that's okay. So what'd you think of uh, all of the... What's, should we give our rating? Oh, I, or? First of all, I was going to say, I think that one... I, th I really like the song for an opening, but I think uh, if they had done that as, like, an ending, it also could have been good. Uh, with, like, the silhouette fighting would have been a really cool ending. Mm. I feel like that, would, that like, lends itself really well. It worked good in the opening as well, but if, even if you just had that, maybe in, like, changing colors or something. It, it does seem more like an ending, for sure. But yeah, I, but I, it's also the last one, so. So do you want to give your ranking on all of them, or what's, uh, um, or do you want to talk about what's, I guess the, the, if we give our ranking and then we can talk about why and yeah. why we ranked everything. Do you already have an idea of yours? I have a basic idea, yeah. I know you're going to take about a half hour, but. That's fine. <laughs> I just want to, I want to do it actually good this Okay, time. we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, welcome back, everybody. We got our lists here. Do you want to start off with yours first from, uh, what, do you want to start off from the last place and then go to yeah, first Yeah, I will start off in last place in slot number nine is OP7. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, um, uh, <laughs> in, uh, eighth place is OP number six. Seventh place is OP number nine. Sixth place is OP number four. Fifth place is OP number one. Fourth place is OP number five. Third place is OP number eight. Second place is OP number three. And first place is OP number two. It's a really controversial list. Yeah, I think people probably won't like that uh, OP eight is high on that list. Wait, so what's in your seventh place here? Nine. Okay. So why is one so low? I don't know. Just the more I watched it, I was just like, I like it, but I like the other ones more. Hmm. But it, you really loved eight. You really yeah, loved number eight. Yeah, I don't eight, know. But not so, more than two and three? No, because I, because to me, two and three, because I watched them while I was watching the show, and, like, especially, I, I actually, especially those two, I, like, really associate with when I was really starting to enjoy the show mm -hmm. and really falling in love with the show. So that's, even though number eight, just, if I have to say, just, like, in terms of just watching them with no attachment to the show and just enjoying them, number eight was probably my favorite, hmm. uh, if you don't attach it to the show. That's a really hot take. I know. That's no really one, everyone's take. gonna think I'm a fucking idiot now. <laughs> uh, but that's just my opinion. I, I just enjoyed it for some, I really loved the song, and I liked seeing side characters do some fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and it, it was just, it was just a fun opening and then it like dipped into the little into the darkness a little bit but then turned around because naruto has his friends i don't know <laughs> it, it was just a fun experience and i liked it hmm. uh but op number two uh two and three are kind of in the in the number one spots for similar reasons of you know that's that's when i was really liking the show i like the songs i i 
I liked the show at that point a lot. I liked all the new characters that they were bringing in. Mm -hmm. And I liked that the OPs sort of showed off the characters. And I I don't know. I I just felt like they they really worked. And I felt like they were explosive and really got me uh, hyped up for watching the show. But uh, I feel like like both of them are kind of similar in that they had a really good balance of story elements as well as a good song, as well as, like, getting you in the mood to watch what was going on at that moment, mm-hmm. you know? So th- those are in my, those are why it's in my number one. And then my, the last one, the ones that were in a last place, they just weren't that great for me, especially number seven, I think. And that's the one with, like, all the fla- Naruto just, like, running on top of his flashbacks, mm-hmm. wh- which is all right, but definitely the least I- I- interesting one I- for me personally. And yeah. Alrighty, my list, starting from number nine, number nine is uh, opening six, number eight is opening seven, number seven is opening eight, number six is opening number nine, in place five, in fifth place is opening number four, Fighting Dreamers, in fourth place is opening two, in first, or in third place, excuse me, is opening number one, second place is is opening number three, and then my top favorite is opening number five, which is like the Sasuke Retrieval Arc 1, Rhapsody of, of Youth. Because uh, I think, well, yeah, okay, I'll explain why this is my favorite. But yeah, I think we talk, well, we both have, actually, let's talk about this. We both have number four, uh, Go, Fighting Dreamers, relatively low, and we talked about That's why. It's like in the middle. It's in the middle, but a lot of people put it in their top three. Uh, Because it gets them really hyped, but like we said, it doesn't really... The reason it's it's a bit lower on my list is because it doesn't... uh, It's not extremely relevant, and that's why all the filler ones are kind of bunched up at the bottom, is because I take, like, the relevancy to the story into great account, and, and while it is technically relevant to the story at the time because those are fillers... The greater arc, it, because it's uh, uh, it, it's it feels like it's kind of a cop out for to say um, that they belong down there because they're like filler ops, uh, but I feel like that's at least significant because the other ones are so um, they they tell so much about the what's going on in the story and the emotional arcs of the characters and the different relationships and inform you about who people are in a bigger way uh, and the connections mm-hmm. between characters by like grouping teams together and stuff like that. Uh, the uh, the canon ones do a lot more to like introduce you to the show while also giving you insight into the characters just through visual storytelling and they do a lot of cool shit there. Number six, No Boy No Cry is my least favorite just because again the relevance aspect and it's not because it's bad and I put number seven above it because I really like the color choice. Color choice. I I under I could I could see myself putting either one at the bottom, because uh, opening seven is uh, although it has like cool colors and has some cool stuff going on, it is a lot of is mostly Naruto running with flashbacks from the show. But I I think the song matches what they're going for a lot more. Whereas No Boy No Cry, it's a little bit more all over the place. The animation is definitely better, and visually it's a lot stronger and cooler looking. It's a lot more interesting that way. So I could put it both ways, but I it for me it just came down mostly to the song. And I like the uh, opening seven song a lot more, so I put that one above. Yeah, and then it was eight, your <laughs> top three. I feel like this is very similar to we just did Fullmetal Alchemist endings, and I feel like I feel like my number three best one is like your your number three worst one. Really? Uh, for for Fullmetal Alchemist, didn't you have two two thousand three OP two as your list. like third worst? Maybe you know, I know. I, I just I just feel like you might have. Oh, I do. What were you saying? 2003 OP2. Was that your number three worst? Yeah, it was. Yeah, <laughs> that was my number three best. Interesting. <laughs> which is so weird. And it's weird because I, I, and I did this for the film Alchemist endings as well. Uh, same thing that I pretty much did for OP5 is just like I felt an ex- like an inexplicable urge <laughs> that that one needed to be in my top three <laughs> because, but I couldn't put it in like a number one slot because that would be going too far. <laughs> But I needed it near the top because to me it was just so good, even though I know that other people probably don't think it was that good. But just personally, I felt like it had to be that way, Hmm. which is interesting that I don't know. I I just noticed that and I was like, I think that that might have been similar. Uh, But yeah, I don't know. Uh, So for opening three, it was the big the biggest trouble I had was what, what to put at my number one between opening three and opening five because they're both extremely relevant to the plot and they both change 
uh, like their second versions or third or fourth versions, because some of them have three, three or four versions. It like updates it and change and makes it makes each of them better. But they both say a lot about the story in their own way. It just came down to taste and um, which it, it, I think whether which, depending on which one, as far as like it just, I think it depends on what you appreciate about Naruto in general. That's what it came down with uh, for me. The reason so they're it, they're kind of tied. But because I like the Naruto and Sasuke part, that's what I, that's the thing that I really, really like about Naruto. That's like the, my favorite thing is their dynamic and their relationship. That's why, and because they're both like both, three and five are both equally relevant to the story, but they both focus on different parts of the story. And I didn't like the Chunin exams as much as I liked um, the Sasuke, well, not the, not the Sasuke retrieval arc, the Sasuke Naruto sort of dynamic that, that is being played up in the fifth opening. Mm-hmm. I... But I could, I could see myself putting either one. I I was like uh, flip flopping a little bit between two and three because those are my number one and number two. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I just felt I just put number two, even though I do that weird singing thing for number three <laughs> all the time. Uh, number I feel like opening two. I feel I feel like that was when I like you know ca- really got really into got it. into it, and I, I I felt like I should put that one uh, in front. Mm-hmm. I and another interesting thing I put two in my number four slot. It's it's the only one that's above go like out of my like top, in, mm-hmm. like it's at the bottom of of what I consider to be like the really good openings in Naruto, just because, I th- I I it's it's good and it really hypes you up, and that's it it hypes you up better than any other Naruto yeah. opening, and uh, I would put it higher if the other ones weren't like such a favorite to me. The only reason I put it beneath opening one is I think it's because opening one just captures. I love opening one because it really captures, like, the childish, the childhood, like, coming-of-age energy of Naruto. Because that arc is, that arc, fucking, the Zabuza Haku arc, the Land of Waves arc, was done so fucking dirty by the anime. I just, I cannot imagine how awesome that would be as a movie. Like, if, if that arc was redone, same voice actors, but as a movie, with the, a similar, maybe updated soundtrack... But if that was done as a movie, the, the Land of Waves arc would be the best fucking... It, it has the makings to be the best fucking arc in all of Naruto. With the, the way it introduces you to everything, the way it, like, shows the development between Sasuke and Naruto, and what being a ninja means in this world, introducing Kakashi and everything, uh, and the power scaling between them and their training... And Haku and Zabuza are, like, incredible uh, antagonists to that. And, and the fact that they're all... Like, the themes in it... Like, it's, it's just... Everything about that arc is so good. And this and this opening just rem- can't help... I can't help but be reminded of, like, all the themes and everything that's being introduced. And it's just... This uh, this opening really sums up and sort of crystallizes that, that whole feeling. So that's why I put it beneath... Mm. Or above number two. Because it's more than just hype, and the song is awesome. It feels the the song feels really nostalgic because mm-hmm. it's got like an '80s vibe. It's awesome. It's a really, really good, solid opening, but it doesn't quite touch uh, the significance of three and five, which are, is something that I really rank highly in my openings. But so that's our list. Hope you guys enjoyed that. But we're gonna watch. I forgot about this. The English openings to Naruto and. Let me know if you if there are like cool openings from other countries. I know we have a big like Spanish and like Brazilian like Portuguese speaking audience. Mm-hmm. If you guys want us to like watch if there are other language uh, dubs like OPs of Naruto, that would be cool to watch. I haven't seen any of those at all. But give me a second because I'm gonna bring up the there's two that I know of uh, of the English openings just as a bonus reaction. Uh, unless there's anything more you want to say to like, close off the list. Um, no, that was it. I I feel pretty solid in this list. Uh, you do? Yeah, I, I genuinely do feel pretty pretty solid in this list. I have a big issue with making lists, but um, I like this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the openings are really solid, really good shit. Yeah, there was there was none that were like horrible, which is good. But the, I feel like there were some clear ones that were in the bottom. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> oh boy. Thirty second. I think this is this a this is the Canadian one. Or is this, uh, I can't tell. Is it only 30 seconds? This one like is 30 ever? seconds. The next one is is a minute and a half. Oh. Okay. Really Naruto, scared. English opening one.
What'd you think of that? Interesting <laughs> choices. Welcome to 2000. This was on why. This was what I used. This is the opening I used to see watching this as a little kid. Like when I would watch it uh, on YTV on Canadian television. It just like it's all fighting. It's all high octane. It's 30 seconds. They keep it as short as possible. They make these openings. I think one because of the music licensing. But two, they don't just replace the song. They used to do that, I think, for, like, early Dragon Ball Z. They replaced it with, like, a guitar song for um, the first Dragon Ball Z opening. Mm -hmm. But, or they would make an English version of the Japanese song and use that. With this, they took the opportunity, I think, to cut it down by one minute so they could have one more minute of commercials. Mm -hmm. And they also used this song, but I think even a shortened version of it, for the ending. Oh. So that they could cut it down even more and add, like, two extra minutes of commercials per episode. Who um, wouldn't want two extra minutes of commercials? Exactly. They're skipping the opening and ending in the worst way possible. Uh, so that was that. But that, that one always bring, brings back some good memories. Anyway. Okay, so this is... I actually like this... Oh, shit. So this is an edit. This is, again, another U.S. opening. But it's an edit of opening two. And I think I showed it to you, I think you early have on, it to me. but after seeing the whole series, you get to see it again. I like this intro too, and there are parts of it, I'll get into it after, but there are parts of it that I m m might have liked keeping uh, in the actual one. So let's go. Hearts are keep a fight in the opening. <laughs> kind of sloppily edited, but whatever. Just random third Hokage, like, in the middle. <laughs> spoilers. <Big> spoilers. <laughs> Huge spoilers. <laughs> Just like random <laughs> bits of fights here and there. I like this as the ending. Yeah, there are... Okay, go ahead, sorry. Some hefty spoilers hefty in that spoilers. one. It's poorly edited, just in general. But there are things about it that I would would have liked them to keep. First of all, normally in this opening, I, they keep the intro to it basically normal. But they have the title card, and then they instantly cut into action while this, like, din -din 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 -din, like is, is happening, and it's, like, kind of revving you up. Mm -hmm. Usually, in the, in the normal one, they just have shots, like, screens yeah. of Naruto uh, just being... But in this, they show shots of the characters, and I thought that that was a cool thing that, that this did. I wish they did that instead of just having this, like, that's one thing that I don't like about opening two is this, they have this crazy epic song, and it gets more epic as it goes along, but they really waste, they let really, like, mm -hmm. soften the blow of that first, like, ten seconds. Um, obviously, it's not well edited, and they just take random stuff from the show, and then this whole thing from opening three, they intercut a lot of stuff from opening three, and that's kind of weird. But another thing I like is, yeah, the ending. I, I like the, this edit. If this were an AMV, that would be... It would, it's almost a cool edit, but, like, the guitar at the end doesn't quite sync up because it's just not well-timed. But, yeah. That was another thing. I think that came on DVDs. I can't remember. Really? Yeah. There you go. Hmm. Just thought I'd throw in that as a little bit as a little bit extra. You, that was the first time seeing the 30-second one, though, right? Yeah. 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 I remember I was going to show that to you, but I was like, no... I, I'll have to wait, like, six months <laughs> to, to, <laughs> or something to fully, for you to fully get, like, the sort of idea. But, yeah. Nice. So, there you go. Anything else I want to say before we get going about the list, about the openings, about anything, any closing thoughts? Well, that 30-second one is definitely at spot number one now, let me tell you. Indeed. Indeed. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Rise! <laughs> Sue yo -sa. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Stay tuned tomorrow for the ending reactions where we're going to be doing a similar thing with the ranking. And then stay tuned next week for Shippuden reactions. 
Mm -hmm. uh, we're go we're going to be doing the the like further on episodes. We're putting those at the beginning. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye bye. Thank you to all of our patrons, especially those in the student council. Zenge. John Ortega. Aurora. Lewis. Christian Bay. Kage Uzumaki. Dreadful XR. Xiao Lao. Brian. Handicap Bonkai. D23L. Charles Liu. Jude Caspino Buford. Nick Psycho. Michael Wells. King Mr. Mew. Rifleman Z51. Thelmus Seletius. Brandon Bruce. Yankee. Vanonian. Yuki Ali. Mord Tarragon. Josh Carey Gray. Jordan Agnew. Lolly Convict. Redacted Redacted. Zachary Porath. Mohammed Burnham Ahmed. Michael E. Zabel. Callum Forsyth. Nicholas Woody. Soma Yukahara. Dogs Free. It's Your Boy Dom. Christian Nielsen. Phantom. Quant Tuggle. Proyectos Informatica. Sugar Daddy Alex. Tara. Hunter Wayne Germany. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one.